Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's so soft and cute and cuddly and 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 warm. Okay. Why don't we put him back before things get uncomfortable? No, no, I'm not uncomfortable. Well, I'm uncomfortable because, you know, I'm looking after the house and it's my responsibilities. There we are. All right. <gasps> oh my god. He's a wind-up toy. That is so adorable. Yeah, I think he might be broken. So yeah, you're a broken little guy, aren't you? Yeah. Ow. Ow. Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. Get us at www.yeticket.com. I'm a critic and I criticize. What a movie I'm going to talk about today is called Hop. Yeah, Hop. Well, this is a, the blending of the state of the art animation with live action. You know, Hop tells the comic tale of Fred, an out of work slacker who accidentally injures the Easter Bunny. Yeah, the Easter Bunny. And he take him home to recover. And, you know, as Fred takes the Easter Bunny home, which is called E.B., you know, he thinks he's the worst house guest. The Easter Bunny wants to play drums. He doesn't want to be the Easter Bunny. He runs away from his father, just like Fred is having difficulty with his father. In fact, he had to leave home because his father said, you're a slacker. You can't get a job. You don't know what to do. But, gee, Dad, it's just not good enough for me yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. In this film is also Russell Brand as the voice of E.B. He did a very good job with that. James Marson, he plays Fred. Elizabeth Perkins in this. David Hasselhoff. Gary Cole. Hank Azera, he's doing a few voices himself. Now, James Marson, for me, uh, he didn't make a convincing, out-of-work type of slacker. He really tried to be goofy and lazy at the same time, but it, he didn't convince me of that. I don't know if it's the director's fault or even why they cast him in this role. I couldn't see him in this role. And when I saw the film, I still couldn't see him in this role. Tim Hill is the director. And Tim Hill, you know, he directed Alvin and the Chipmunks, Garfield, Tell Two Kitties, and, you know, Max Kibble's Big Move, and Muppets from Space. So, you know, he's used to this type of genre or this type of filmmaking. I will admit that Hop is beautifully animated, it's funny. It, you know, it, it is a family film, but I had a few problems, for, first of all, with some of the themes. They compared the Easter Bunny to Santa Claus. For example, the Easter Bunny also rides a sleigh, and the sleigh is drawn by little chicks, little yellow furry chicks, all right? They also work in the Easter Bunny factory, too. Hmm... Also, they live on Easter Island. Yeah, or in Easter Island. Let me take that back. Not on it, in it. And every Easter Bunny, according to the story, is British. That's right, British. Ah, senor, how you doing, jefe? Hey, oh, am I disturbing? It's never been this quiet in here. Yeah, it's so depressing. You should clear this out. Make a new den or a clubhouse. Oh, like a man cave. Ooh, it'll be fun. I called his dreams ridiculous. What kind of father does that? I no, no, senor. I will not permit you to beat yourself up over this. Anybody will be lucky to have a father such as you. Well, thank you, Carlos. I miss him. Yeah, me too, senor. A son is very difficult to replace. Difficult but not impossible. Some things just tug at me, so I suppose to go with this? And, you know, suspend an animation with this story? Uh, I, I kind of hard for me to follow this film. It really was. I mean, not for a storyline, but on a belief on some things that was happening. Okay, I know it's just a story, it's a little silly story, and... Maybe I should just look at it like that. Just a little silly story. If I got to look at it like that, I'm giving this a C minus. It didn't do well for me. Not at all. But was this fun to watch? There were some funny moments in this film. Hank Azera voices. 
They were very funny. Russell Brand did very well in this, you know, with his voice. And some of the situations were funny, too. But the whole storyline, I just couldn't get it. Now, as a family film, will you and your, you and your family enjoy it? Yes. If you sit there with your kids, yes. And if I was a kid, I would give this a B plus because I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to tell my father, go out there to the stand right now and get me some chocolate because, you know, that's what the Easter Bunny is delivering, you know, on Easter. Some chocolate, so get me some right now. Yum, 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 yum. Come on, Dad. Give me some more chocolate. We're watching the Easter Bunny. Hop. Well, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. Get us at www.yeticket.com. I'm giving Hop a C-. minus, But keep watching us every day and the day after. Fred, mate. I'll behave. I'll clean up my mess. I'll, I'll do the dishes. Not your problem. There's no dishes in the wild. No, Fred, but I'm special. Well, we're all special. Ha, you're not getting it. I mean, I'm really special. What are you doing? See? Jelly beans? Mm-hmm. So what? So you talk and you poop candy. Did you do it in someone else's life? No, you're right. It's, it's not your concern. And in two weeks, maybe you can explain to the children of the world why they didn't get their Easter baskets. Easter. Oh, yes, Fred. I am the Easter Bunny. Hop in. <laughs>